Namaste, my friend. Uh, I am so happy to have you here practicing yoga with me today. My name is Alicia Maizetti and I'm an international yoga teacher. Today, in collaboration with Polly Park, which is an awesome brand that I have the pleasure to work with. They actually make really nice yoga and workout outfits. So here you can see one of them. Um, I am offering you a vinyasa flow, probably will be around 30 minutes long and it's all levels. So let's get ready to start. We will start in a child's post today. So bring your legs nice and wide apart, draw your hips down the heels and soften your head down the ground. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. Close your eyes if you haven't done it yet. And simply bring awareness to your breath. Begin to breathe in and out through the nostrils. And see if with every exhalation, you can soften your body and your mind a little more. Becoming more and more aware of the present moment. Of our practice. Of our being. Knowing that for the next uh, half an hour or so, We will be taking care of ourselves, nourishing our body, nurturing our heart, mind, and soul with energy, with powerful, positive, vibrant energy. Continue to breathe through the nose, in and out. That's right, my friend. We start to get into the flow. Let's remember that whenever we need, we can pause, we can take a minute to recharge. We breathe and we come back to the practice. Child's pose is a beautiful resting pose that we are allowed to take any time we need to. When you're ready, gently raise your head and begin to rise all the way up into a tabletop position. We want to bring the knees in line with the hips, hands in line with the shoulders. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes under. And let's begin to move back and forth. We're gonna continue breathing through the nose throughout the whole practice. So every time you are moving, we are moving from one pose, from one asana to the other, I invite you to bring awareness to the breath or to the way you are breathing. Trying to make the breathing slow and try to control it so that we can work with our energy and we can master our practice so that we can get all the benefits out of it. Beautiful. In this way, we are working on stretching the soles of our feet and warming up the wrists at the same time. We come back into a tabletop position and I invite you now to lift your hands and come on your fingertips. Now keeping the arms and the elbows straight, see if you can start to rotate your shoulders backwards. Continue to breathe through the nose for five, four, three, two, and one. And now we rotate forward, five, four, three, two, 
and one. That's it. Coming back to center, draw your hands down. Cat cow, inhale. Arch the back and look high. Open up those shoulders. Exhale, push the floor away. Look towards your tummy. Say hi to your tummy. Inhale, rising high. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring the left hand in between. Inhale, lift and twist it to the right side. Look at your right hand. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm under the left. Again, inhale, swipe it up. Exhale, draw it down. Inhale, swipe up. And exhale, stay down this time. We're going to release the left arm and bring it behind our back. There's an option here to tuck the hand on the inner thigh. Breathing here, you can stay, or if you feel like it, see if you can gently extend the left leg high. Hold it here for three two and one beautiful slowly we release releasing all the pose left hand goes down we twist and we open again and we come back to center now the right hand stays in between inhale shift the left arm high exhale thread the needle going down again two more inhale swipe up exhale draw it down inhale coming up and exhale down. Staying here, shoulder rest, right arm goes behind. You can tuck it if you want. Breathe. And now if you can, see if you can lift the right leg high. Hold it here for three. Breathe through the nose for two. And for one, gently release. Drawing the right hand down the ground. Inhale, swipe it up. And exhale, back into our tabletop position. Beautiful, that's it. Tuck your toes under, push the floor away and rise up into our first downward facing dog. Beautiful. I invite you to look towards your feet here and to gently begin to press the heels down the ground. Breathe here for three for two and for one. Shivering forward into a plank, big inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga. You can draw the knees down and come down in a supported Chaturanga or you can make your way from plank to Chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, rising high, open up, upward dog. And exhale, you can draw the knees down, tuck your toes, make your way back into downward facing dog. That's it. Let's do it twice more. Inhale, come into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, heels down the ground. Last one, inhale, coming forward into plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Beautiful. Look at your hands and walk your hands back towards your feet. Feet in line with the hips. Grab your elbows, relax your head and shake the body from side to side. You can keep the knees low, bent a little bit if you need to. Slowly opening up the armstrings and releasing the tension around the spine, lower back, shoulders, neck. Beautiful. Drawing your hands down, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, Uttanasana fold. Again, inhale, rise up halfway. 
exhale, fold. One more, inhale, and exhale, fold. Look forward, walk all the way into plank, exactly as we were before, exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg high towards the sky. Exhale, step your foot forward in between your hands. We're going to rise all the way up into a low, a high lunge, sorry. Deep, deep inhale here. Exhale, open into warrior two. Inhale, extend the right arm and exhale, send it back for reverse the warrior. Beautiful, from here, shift the body weight forward, inhale, elbow to the knee, extend the left arm, look back and exhale, make your way back into that reverse, but extend the front leg. Again, inhale, side angle pose, exhale, reverse to warrior. Last time, inhale, exhale. Beautiful, from here, keep your legs where they are, send the arms straight, lean forward, trikonasana. Breathe here for three, for two, and for one. Bend the right knee, draw the left hand down, and now twist towards the right side. Continue to twist the body. Now from here, straight into that side plank, we're gonna draw the left foot to the side, use the core to send the right leg back. Breathing here, exhale from plank, down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg high. And exhale, step it forward in between your hands. Same thing, rising high into a high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, open. Warrior two. Reversing the warrior. Sending the body backward. Breathing here. At your next inhale, shift forward into a side angle and exhale, extend the front leg. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Legs stay where they are, extend the arms, shift forward into Trikonasana. Open up, breathe here. Really work on that twist. Beautiful. Drawing the right hand down, bend the knee, twist towards the left, coming into that side plank, shifting the left leg back. Inhale and exhale. Make your way into Chaturanga. Inhale up dog and exhale. Let's pause for a second in child's pose, reminding to ourselves that this is our safe container and that we can come back in this pose whenever we need to. Let's take three breaths here. A moving meditation, becoming really more and more conscious, more and more awake and aware of how we breathe, of how we move, of how we are present in this moment. Rising back up into the downward dog, exactly where we were before. Beautiful. Look forward, bend your knees. We're gonna step forward. Inhale or jump. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Rising high and tall, bring your hands in prayer and exhale, coming into Samastitihi. Beautiful. Holding it here for a few breaths. And then opening the eyes again, hands in prayer. Inhale, lift the arms nice and high. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. 
Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, send it back. Jump from plank to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the right leg high. Inhale. And step it forward. Exhale. Now from here, we're going to jump into a standing split. So kicking this left leg high. Holding it here. Maybe the right hand and arm will help to press the chest towards the leg. Hold it here for three, for two, and for one. Beautiful, looking forward and slowly extending and rising into warrior three. Now send the arms along the body. Inhale, shift the left leg forward, keep it bent, arms are high. And exhale, we're going to rest the left leg on top of the right and slowly lowering down. Breathe. And then we're going to come back where we were. So rising high. Send the energy back into that warrior three and lower into standing split. Beautiful. From here, we're going to do a little kick high and then we're going to jump back into plank. So little kick high, jumping back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog and exhale, downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it forward in between your hands. And again, shifting this right leg high, find that standing split. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Looking forward, slightly bend on the knee and rising high into a warrior three. Arms along the body. Inhale, drawing the leg to the chest, extending the arms. And exhale, leg rest on the opposite leg. And we lower. Breathing here. For three, two, and one. Coming back, inhale, extending, rising high. Exhale, send it back into that warrior three. Lower down, standing split, extend. Beautiful, then looking forward and again. Little step back, we're gonna jump high and into plank. Up and back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, look forward, we're going to come into seated, bend your knees, cross your legs, and the jump. Of course, we can do it as lower if we need to. From here, walk, walk, cross, and draw your legs down, extend them. Beautiful. Paschimottanasana, bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the arms high. Exhale, extend forward. Breathe here for three. Try and repress the lower back down and have a sensation of extending the spine, extending the chest forward. For two. And for one. Inhale, lifting up halfway. Exhale, folding once more. Hold for three. Hold for two and hold for one. Inhale, lifting, rising all the way up and exhale. Draw your hands along the body. Beautiful. Purvottanasana. Walk your hands back, press the soles of your feet down and begin to extend. Squeeze the glutes here. Open your chest. Look high. Hold for three, for two. And for one, slowly with the exhale, coming all the way back. Straightening the back, 
bending the knees, opening the legs a little bit. We're gonna come into a sort of a back bend here, but we're gonna go smoothly and gently towards the back bend. So the left hand goes behind. I want the right in between my legs. I inhale and I kick the hips high and I extend both arms, both shoulders, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, I come back down. Two more, inhale, exhale, come down. One more, inhale, exhale, come down. Right leg goes back, right arm goes back, left arm goes forward. Again, inhale, exhale, going back. Two more, inhale, exhale, down. Last one, inhale, and exhale, coming back. Crossing the legs, making the way back into plank. So using the core strength, really being, being really fast with the legs, shoot it back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, coming back into the child's pose. Breathe. Send the arms along the body. You can hug your heels if you want. Three more breaths here. Nice, slowly releasing, rising back high. Coming for a second into this kneeling position here. And I want you now to work on how we can rotate and create space around the back. Because after this, we're going to go into one last back bend, okay? So open your legs just a little bit more, draw your hands down on your knees and begin to take big rotations here. You can close your eyes. This is called a Sufi roll creating energy into this rolling that we are doing. Spinning. I always like to imagine and visualizing a vortex of prana, vortex of life force that I am creating when I move. And so I become an embodied being full of energy that expands, so powerful high towards the sky. Rotate towards the other side. Really moving all the space that we have. Allowing that space to grow in between the vertebras, in between the joints, the muscles. That's it, coming back to center. I want now to bring my knees and legs close to each other. Rising up and preparing for a camo pose. So hands on the hips. I'm going to squeeze the glutes slightly to protect the lumbar spine. And I will go down with one hand down on the heel, the other hand down on the other heel, open up the heart. Option to lower the head all the way or to keep it high. Breathe here for three, for two. And for one. Beautiful, squeeze your glutes, both hands on the hips, inhale, rise high, exhale, come back into the child's pose, arms along the body. 
rest in the spine now, and if it feels good, move from side to side. That's it. Drawing the hands forward and begin to walk yourself out of the pose again. Now, before ending, we're going to go into an inversion. We don't have to necessarily come into the inversion. I invite you to work on the, drill, the drills that I will demonstrate to you now. So don't force, don't uh, like rush and run towards reaching the pose. The goal is to just bring some of the energy from the feet down to the head. So that we want to create that beautiful flow of energy and actually give more flow to the prana that we are moving while we are, uh, while we are moving the body, right? So if you don't have a sirsasana, that's the pose that we will do, work on, dri on these drills with me. We're going to take the distance between our, our elbows and create a beautiful pyramid, like a triangle in front of us. Interlace the fingers and draw the crown of your head, this part, not this, this part, down the ground. Hug the back of your head, tuck your toes under, and extend your legs. Then walk your feet as close as you can. Inhale, lift the right leg high, and exhale, draw down. Inhale, lift the left leg high, and exhale, draw it down. Again, inhale, the right leg high. So you see in this way, you are still bringing all that flow from the feet down to the head. Let's do it one more. And the other one. Perfect. Now you will repeat for three times per leg. And if you have a sirsasana, you're most welcome to come up into that sirsasana. And hold for five four, three, two, and one. Gently release the pose, drawing your legs down into child's pose and take a moment again to rest here. Beautiful, my friend. From our child's pose, we will slowly rise up into a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, rise up into downward dog. Before making our way into Shavasana, I invite you to do one more vinyasa. So coming forward into plank, inhale. Exhale, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. Like we did before, we're gonna cross our legs to jump into a seated position. Beautiful. And then allow the body ah, to finally rest down the ground into your beautiful Shavasana. I invite you to stretch if you need to. Stretching the legs, stretching the arms. Ah, big exhale out through the mouth. And I will leave you here in your Shavasana now. I invite you to rest in this pose for however long you want. Just breathe through the nose. Explore this beautiful sensation of the after practice that lives within and around you. And while we are here resting, I would like to invite you to really feel in your heart how powerful and how beautiful practicing yoga is. All this nourishment, all this new light, all this love that is growing within us. 
We are blessed, blessed for being here, blessed for practicing yoga, blessed for this life. And to end, from uh, Polly Park and I, I say thank you for being here. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for your light. Thank you for your energy. And I will see you very, very soon again. Now relax and enjoy.